This is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so today I'm doing my long rated review for my current laptop and that is the Samsung Notebook 9 Pro. Now this is the 15 inch model. It normally went for I think $12.99 when it was out. Now Samsung is replacing this with the new Notebook 9 Pen, I believe. And that's because both of these have a series with the S Pen. So that's one of the reasons why I got it was so I could have the S Pen and use it accordingly with it. Now, what does this have spec wise? Well, it has an i7 processor, but it's the seventh generation. The new one's obviously the eighth generation. It does also have 16 gigs of RAM. It is going to have a 15 inch display. It's gonna be 1080p. And it will also have a brightness of 350 nits. That's important to me to see how much you can see it outside. And a 256 gig solid state drive that is an M2 solid state, just so you know. And it has a built-in graphics card of a Radeon 540. Now, why did I get this laptop and how has it worked out for me? So first of all, with light usage, so when I was uh, doing classes for real estate, for instance, I was able to use this all day for taking notes. So literally the class would start at like 8 a.m. sometimes and I would go all the way till 5.30 and it was no problem taking notes throughout that entire time. Never died on me, uh, all with one charge. So really good for our users. However, when we were at CES and I had to do video editing, and yes, that's one of the reasons why I got a graphics card on this one, was because of the fact that it can do video editing and does it well. Does it do it as well as my desktop? No, of course not. But it actually does edit fairly well for everything that I needed to. It might take a little bit longer, the rendering might not be as quick, but it gets the job done for everything I need and when I got it, I did get it on the holiday sale, so it was about under a thousand bucks. So now how about the IO? What kind of ports do you have on the side over here? Well, you have a good amount, and the biggest thing is, of course, you have the new Type-C style. So right here, you have a full HDMI, you have a Type-C connection, you have a headphone jack, and on the other side, we have two full-size USB, both 3.0, and a micro SD card slot. Now the keyboard is pretty nice as well, uh, chiclet style, and has a really good travel. So I would say if you want a really good keyboard, this is definitely going to have it. Trackpad is okay, but I don't mind that that much because of the fact that with me, I almost never use a trackpad. Literally this entire video is mainly what I've used the trackpad for, and that's about it. Uh, however, the one thing I do like about it was the fact that I can have clients sign things on the go with this because of the Samsung S Pen. So the S Pen allows me to do lots of different things and it operates just like it would on a regular, uh, on like a regular uh, phone or device. So if I want to take out the tablet, if I want to take out the pen and start writing on it, well, I get the same kind of stuff that I would normally get from a Samsung smartphone. So, you automatically get a few things. Let me take it out again. And that is you get S note. You get the ability to write on, you get the ability to write a note, you get S note. So you get a couple of things right away. And I like that ability because I can take a screenshot more easily. A lot of things can just be done more easily with this. So I can do a presentation. I can be like this or the houses. Which one do you want? Oh, you want this one? Let's drop the contract right now type it out, flip it around, and have them sign it. So the question is, should you buy this laptop and how does it compare to everything else out there? Well, I think if you're looking for a laptop that's around $1,000 to 1,200, this version or the older versions should be something you should take a look at. And I'll leave both links in the description, but with this, it does everything I need to, which is video editing because of the built-in graphics card. It's good enough to be able to do it. The new version I think has even an NVIDIA 1050 on it, so even better. With this though, you can sign on the go. You have the S Pen, you have the better screenshot ability with the S Pen as well. You have all day battery life for the average user. If you're doing video editing though, the battery will drain uh, kind of quickly. So of course you have that ability. The great part about it is you don't even need the regular wall outlet because it does charge through type C as well. Really good for that purpose. So I think if you're looking for a laptop and you just want to use it for all of your basics and you want one that's really good, lightweight, 
I think this is definitely one you should consider. Now, is it as maybe premium maybe as like a Dell XPS or a Razer? No, I would say they have probably a better build quality on ones like those, but I would say better bang for your buck would definitely be this because to get this same kind of specs on a Dell or on a Razer, you're gonna be paying a little bit more. And overall for this purpose, I think this is why the reason I went with it and budget wise, it just fit a lot better. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. What is your favorite current laptop out? And would you consider this one? Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.